Let's say you drank 17 energy drinks, wore rocket shoes, and somehow, somehow, you managed to run at the speed of light. That's about 299 million, 792,458 meters per second. That's fast, really fast. Like you're out running your own shadow fast. But what would actually happen if you ran that fast? Would your cheeks flap in the wind? Would your shoes melt? Would you time travel? Let's find out. Let's imagine you start on a straight road. You stretch, you breathe in, and then instantly accelerate to light speed. Problem number one, you can't do that. You have mass, and mass resists acceleration. And according to Einstein's theory of relativity, as your speed increases, so does your relativistic mass. So the faster you go, the heavier you get. At light speed, your mass becomes infinite, which means you need infinite energy to move. Your shoes don't just melt, they cease to exist. And your atoms, they're not built for this kind of party. Conclusion, you explode. But for fun, let's assume physics lets you break the rules. Let's say you do run at light speed. So what do you see? Actually, not much. Because at light speed, light doesn't hit your eyes the way it usually does. It bunches up in front of you. Everything behind you? Darkness? Everything ahead of you? Blinding blue light. This is called relativistic Doppler shift. Basically, visible light turns into X-rays or gamma rays. So as you run, it's like sprinting directly into a microwave laser beam from hell. And since light can't outrun you, you're technically not seeing anything new. You're chasing photons like a dog chases cars, except the cars are radiation and you're being vaporized. Let's talk about your brain. Your neurons work with electric pulses. These signals move much, much slower than light. So while your body is sprinting across the earth in nanoseconds, your brain's still processing the smell of pavement from two kilometers ago. Thought, left foot forward. Reality, you've already run around the planet seven times, which means you're running on autopilot with lag, a Wi-Fi potato, a lagging meat missile. You're not thinking, you're just happening. Now let's talk about time. As you approach the speed of light, time slows down for you. This is called time dilation. If someone watches you from Earth, they'd see a blur. But for you, time nearly freezes. It's like pressing pause on the universe while you're sprinting across it. So while you think you've been running for five seconds, everyone else, it's been hundreds of years. You've outrun calendars. Now let's rewind. What happens to the Earth as you're running at light speed? You cause something called relativistic mass displacement. That's fancy talk for you smash into atoms with such force that everything explodes. Even if you miss people, your wake of kinetic energy causes earthquakes, shock waves, maybe even planetary damage. It's like dropping a planet-sized bowling ball into a pool, a very unlucky pool. So yes, the air in front of you would ionize into plasma. You create a superheated tunnel of destruction, a literal death trail. Okay, so you're basically a light speed weapon now. But what about time travel? Sort of. If you could run at light speed and stop, you'd land far into the future. While only seconds passed for you, centuries passed outside. Your friends are long gone. Your TikTok account? Legendary. Your plant? Dead. Congratulations. You're the Forrest Gump of time travel. Big question, can you stop? Short answer, no. Why? Because your momentum is nearly infinite. To stop, you'd have to absorb infinite energy, which means you'd need a wall built from God himself. If you hit anything, even a grain of dust, you don't stop, you detonate. A collision at light speed turns you into a small nuclear weapon. So what happens if you run at the speed of light? Your mass becomes infinite. You destroy space-time. Your brain can't keep up. You turn the planet into soup. You get to the future, alone and you explode if you stop. Cool idea. Terrible plan. Final verdict. Don't run at the speed of light. Walk instead. It's healthier.